Hi, welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking, and today I'm going to make a Polish dish. It's called Gwumkis. Most people call it pigs in a blanket. The ingredients that you'll need are three heads of cabbage, about this size, this is about medium size, or you can buy two extremely large heads. They just happen to have the medium size, so I bought three. Five pounds of the ground turkey, two cups of, of white rice, four cans of tomato soup, and those are your ingredients. So what I do first is I preheated, preheated my oven to 350. I have my cabbage boiling on the stove. So all you do is just soften it and cut it off just so it's pliable. The first couple pieces of the cabbage I use on the bottom of my casserole dish. So you can see how nice that is. It doesn't take long for this cabbage to boil either. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut open my ground turkey. I have a large bowl in front of me. I combined my five pounds of ground turkey and my two cups of rice. It's uncooked rice. So what I'm going to do is just mix it together. It's a real simple dish and easy to make and there aren't really that many ingredients that you'll need. Okay, so I have it all mixed. I'm going to wash my hands. What I'm going to do now is take my can of soup. I'm going to lay it out on the bottom of my baking dish here. Just spread it around on the bottom. And then what I'm going to do is take the uh, first leaves that were on the cabbage and place them on the bottom. And then I'm going to place my gwumkis on top of this. So the bottom is lined with cabbage leaves. It's just to prevent anything from burning or sticking to the bottom. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is show you how I roll the cabbage. See, when the cabbage gets down to uh, the, the small leaves, I mean, this is the smallest you really want to go because it's kind of hard to roll the turkey or beef, whichever you're using, in here. Roll it up. And then I'm going to place it on top of the cabbage that I have on the baking dish here. So I'm just going to keep repeating this same process. And the reason why I use five pounds of ground turkey is I like the turkey better than the beef. And with the five pounds, I'm having company over this evening, so I'm making a lot. And then this way here, my company can take, can take some of it home if they want. I'm just going to make a row across and then another row down here and then I'll place tomato soup on top. Like I said, you just place the turkey right at the core of the cabbage, take the two sides and roll it. And it gets neatly tucked. This way here everything stays right inside. I have them all rolled on the bottom here. So what I'm going to do now is place my tomato soup on top. This tomato soup acts as though like a gravy or a sauce. It makes the meat moist. That's why I like to use four cans so I have a lot of it. I'm adding the second can. It may look like a lot, but it really isn't because the uh, cabbage 
kind of absorbs some of the tomato soup along with the beef, the uh, turkey, I'm sorry. All right, now this is the last can. This is four cans that I put in here. And I like to have all the gumkis covered. This way here, it doesn't dry out the cabbage. And then I'll place some cabbage on top, so this, is, this way here it keeps it moist inside. And just do like I did on the bottom. I'll place tin foil on top of this. And I had my oven preheated at 350 and I'm going to place it in the oven for five hours. I like the turkey tender and the cabbage will be nice and soft and you'll see all the juices in here. So five hours, I'm going to have it on 350 for two hours and then I'm going to reduce the heat to 250 for the other three hours. Well, it's been five hours, and I'm going to get my gawumkis out of the oven. And remember, when I made the gawumkis, I didn't cook the rice, and I also didn't cook the turkey. The only thing that I did boil was the cabbage, and everything gets cooked in the oven. That's why it's for five hours. See how nice and moist they all stay? That's why I like the cabbage on top. Okay, so I'm going to take one out and try it. Put a little gravy on it, or sauce. You can salt and pepper it if you like, but I like I like it without the salt and pepper. It's really steaming. This is really a great dish to make when you're having company, like I'm having company this evening. I mean, it's really good. I love this. It's good with beef, too, but I prefer the turkey. Mmm. It's nice and tender. I mean, this is a really a great dish to make. Like I said, it's really not that much ingredients that you're going to need. The turkey, the beef, and you can reduce it if you like. The only reason why I use five pounds of turkey is because I'm having company this evening. But you can reduce it to um, however many gawumkis or pigs in a blanket you'd prefer to make for your family. But it's a dish that I highly recommend. It's really good. And if you'd like, you can email me at Cheryl's Home Cooking at gmail.com. And I look forward to your comments and suggestions. And I thank you so much for tuning into Cheryl's Home Cooking. And I'll see you next video. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Bye bye.